Hey, folks. Come on here. Come on. At your Uber camouflage services. How are you all? Hope you're doing very well. The working day is done, and Kiltman has come for a little strut about down the prom on the beach. Yes, it is the beach. Look. And if you look, I'm sitting on what they call a groin. I'm not sitting on my groin, but I'm sitting on a great big rocky groin. And these things are devised to try and break up, you know, the tides. Especially when we get lashed by big storms, which we do. And the tide, the tide is high, and it comes crashing over all the uh, embankment walls there and the prom. I mean, this stretches for miles, this prom. But this is the air. Uh, New Brighton is down there, it's down that way. Liverpool is over there. The liver beds are behind here somewhere. You know, the waterfront, Liverpool waterfront. And Kilt Mansion is up yonder over there. And if you look that way, you'll see a small husky who has been there for the last hour, I would say. And what she's doing, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little, the tide's gone out, so the sand is all very soggy and kind of quick sandy. And she's digging holes and she's absolutely fascinated by the fact that they keep on filling up with water again. How does it happen? What kind of black magic sorcery is this? She's thinking, how? The more I dig, the more water comes in. The more I'll dig to try and keep it out then. Not realising it's never going to end. Look at her. <laughs> She's actually knackered, to be honest. But uh, right, what else can I show you? Well, hey, the lovely sky. Look at that. I do believe that in the UK, the clocks um, go forward this weekend so that we're, it's going to be darker nights and darker mornings. But it's all in tow with the whole Halloween thing as far as I'm concerned. So I'm, I'm all right with that. It doesn't bother me. So again, if you look beyond that, that hopelessly digging husky there, you can see the wind turbines there. We have many of them, there's some over there as well. Um, but there's many, many, if you go round the bend there, round the cusp, that is the Mersey Estuary there. I'll try and stop wiggling the camera around. That's the Mersey Estuary. Out there is the Irish Sea. And beyond that, Ireland. So the, the middle peninsula sort of comes along here, Liverpool on that side, it widens up into the estuary, the Mersey Estuary, and then the middle peninsula sort of swings round to the left there which is what happens at New Brighton, and then it swings round to Hoy Lake, West Kirby, and, you know, other places. But if you look over there, can you see those cranes? Those big red cranes? And like, that is, that's Bootle Docks. Now, doesn't that remind you of the opening scenes of um, Spielberg's version of War of the Worlds, with Tom Cruise, little, little tiny Tom Cruise, little running Tom Cruise, at the top of one of these things? you know, operating it. And he's doing it for real, because Tom Cruise does everything for real, of course. But I always think of that, because it's a very enigmatic and kind of awe-inspiring beginning to that movie. And of course, the thing, the thing that they're always trying to do, but Spielberg doesn't really nail it afterwards, is that when little Tom Cruise is sitting atop one of those things, those big cranes, it's almost like he's sitting atop one of the huge tripods. That's, you know, the visual, um, illustration that he's making the visual connection but it doesn't really come across because when you do see the tripods i don't think anyone thinks back to oh yes that's a bit like when you were up in that crane but anyway so maybe because i think the idea may be at one stage that he's going to commandeer one of these things and turn the tripod against its own people i don't know i don't know where i'm going with that you see this is what happens i begin to ramble when i'm left sitting here on the rocks while the dog just does her own thing for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> I'm also uh, hopelessly overdressed for the occasion because um, I haven't been sitting in the house and working all day and Mrs. Kilman does not allow the heating on. So, uh, and you all know I don't feel the cold, but the point I'm coming to is this. That sitting in the house and not moving around because you're on the laptop, worky, 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 all that worky bullshit, you know. Um, you're not moving around, so you're not getting any, you're not getting warm, so you've got a jumper on, and then because oh, it, it's it's awesome time, and I come to take care of. So instinctively, I go and put a jacket on. It's roasting. 
<laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look, I, mean, I don't know if you're getting, the sun's dipping behind the trees over there, but if you look on that side, isn't that beautiful? You know, that's the, you know, the, the, the late afternoon, beginning of the evening, the sort of light, and it's got that kind of energy to it. That it's a, it's a beautiful sort of look. You probably aren't getting it too well on this, you know. One day I'll invest in some really good camera gear and maybe a, a camera person to operate it as well. But uh, that it, it, the glow that you've got over there is just beautiful. And it's shimmering on the uh, on the Mersey as well. The Mersey is now a lot cleaner than it ever used to be. But it's still not very clean, let's be honest. It's just, it's, 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 a, it's a muddy, silty sort of river and it just gets dragged up all the time. Sadly, you just missed a couple of ships coming in, a couple of sea trucks coming in, which was quite a majestic sight. But, uh, but we get a lot of shipping coming through here. Because it is one of the, uh, the major seaports of the world, as it happens. Now, if you want a critic, keep it down, will you? Making a video here. <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's see if I can show you a little more. I'll get up and see if I can get a better vantage point. Uh, now, if I climbed up all of these, you would see. Well, yeah, you can see. If I do that. That's Liverpool. And these are all my footprints here. This sand uh, is treacherous, actually. Um, sometimes, you know, the lifeguards do come out and do rescue people from here. Quite a lot, to be honest. And uh, oh, there's one of them ships I told you about. That's that, that sea truck over there, can you see it? That's come all, I watched it come all the way down and it's navigated, turned itself around and gone in to the docks over there. There's docks on both sides of the Mersey and they do stretch all the way down to different docks and things. Refining, refining the way down there, eastern docks. But that is boom. I lived over there for a while. Mrs. Kilman's from over there. Yes, I went over on a bit of a wreck. A bit of a pillage mission, and I came back with Mrs. Gilman. Yeah, you can't win a world, can you? <laughs> but, um, yeah, look at the clouds over there. You get some lovely, majestic cloud formations around here because, you know, big sky. Where I live, Wallace, he's built on the hill. That's where Mike Reckon is. It's the highest point as well. So, um, Looking out, you see some really, really big, big skies. But also because it's Mersey side, you've got quite a lot of light pollution. So don't go thinking we've got that great big majestic, you know. Again, Spielberg sort of star fields and shooting stars. No, 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 no. But you can get that if you go onto the cemetery at the back of us, where there's no street light. It's great, you know. And you will see so many more magnificence in the, in the firmament and you will see shooting stars a lot. Yeah. Folks, there you are, yeah. You, you probably can't hear me because the wind's picking up round here. But there, look, there's the husky. Roxy, say hello, look at her. Look at this. She spent, you wouldn't believe she spent hours doing that, excavating this. And for what? What purpose? It's just filled in again. Oh, look, she's assessing, she's assessing the damage. Right, I'll excavate over here again. <laughs> what goes through its brain? Honestly, what goes through its very little brain? What goes through its very little brain? Digs. Can you dig it? Anyway, folks, I'm going to see 